you how to expand internal storage on this device. Now, to do this, you need an OTG cable. These are very inexpensive. You can also order this directly from MeCool, and they even bundle it with the MeCool KD3 streaming stick. You can buy it as a bundle along with a USB drive if you would like, or you can purchase it separately. So you will see here in this video clip how easy it is to set up an OTG cable and USB drive on the MeCool KD3. I simply connect the OTG cable to where the power port is on the stick, connect the power adapter to the OTG cable, and then plug the USB drive into the USB port on the OTG cable. That's all there is to it. Now you can also connect other peripheral devices such as an Ethernet hub, a USB hub, game controllers, keyboards, mice, whatever. And this is one of the selling points of the MeCool KD3 is that it's very easy to add accessories with an OTG cable. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and insert a 256 gigabyte SanDisk drive into the USB port of the OTG cable. After I do that, it takes a couple seconds. You're gonna see top right hand corner, SanDisk USB drive. You can hold down on the home button of the remote for additional information. And now when I scroll down, you're gonna see there, I have the option to set up this drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And I want to click set up as device storage. Click format. And now we're gonna just let it go through the process of formatting the drive. Now it's important to point out from this point forward, any applications that we install onto this device will be installed onto the USB drive. Now the nice thing about this is that we can easily move it back to internal storage if we want it to run from there. And I strongly suggest if you are going to do this, you want some of those applications that require more resources such as Kodi or any types of VPNs, you probably want those running on the internal storage. I would probably place the applications that you don't use very often on the USB drive. You're just gonna get better performance from the internal storage on the device itself. And I also want to mention, don't do this if you only run a few applications on the stick. There's no need to go through this process unless you have a lot of applications and you don't have enough internal storage for them. All right, it says USB storage reconnected. Now you may notice you might have to restart the device or it will do it automatically, you'll see right there. Okay, the Mi Cool KD3 has rebooted. I'm gonna just move over here, go back into settings. I want to ensure that it is listed under the storage section. I'm gonna hover over system, move to the right, hover over storage, and you'll see that it is listed here. 